our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Gunner Gunny Nelson! And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the Prodigy, BJ Penn! You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Well, early on in his career, BJ Penn was a first round machine. Now, later in his career, not so much. Last first round finish came in 2010 against Matt Hughes. But BJ Penn and his camp, they have put a lot of focus on getting off to a quick start tonight. We'll see if BJ Penn can adhere to those commands and get off to a fast start tonight. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Quick level change now. He went. Oh! 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 What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> right into side control. Nelson's back in half guard. Oh, in good position to whip off a Kimura here. Ooh, that Kimura looking tight. It's gonna continue. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Oh, got a protection. That guillotine choke is locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Ooh, what Slips the left. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Leg kick now. He's starting to pile those up. Look at the stats. Good sequence of kicks there by Nelson. Tags him with the uppercut. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. It's starting to really hurt him. Look at how he drives his knees. Right into his opponent's midsection. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Oh, huge oh, strike oh, lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and that is one of the best fights. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discreet. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. And that one certainly found the target. Different round, but same approach out of the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter. I'm not sure if there is an injury, but his ground game is so strong he hasn't made any effort to take the fight. Though. I don't understand when you possess that skill, when you're so good on the ground, so strong in positions, he does such a great job of finding submissions. I don't know why he wouldn't spend the vast majority of the fight there. 
Knighty is fighting a very... Back to the feet now. Nelson going for the leg kick. He misses. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Tries the flying knee to no avail. All right, well, he's hurt it again. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Back at the season, these two guys are trading huge shots. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that way you have to go. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Gunnar Gunny Nelson! All right, so